11 members of the Buffalo Philharmonic are doing their part to help Buffalo in the healing process. This, of course, following the mass shooting at Tops that devastated our community. Jocelyn Person has more on the music and the message behind a very special performance tonight. The soothing sound of music is bringing comfort to the Buffalo community. This concert for healing comes just over two months after the mass shooting that killed 10 black people at the top store on Jefferson Avenue. It's a good way to both uh, help the community by letting them know that we care and that we do want to do a concert for a good cause. The performance that you're hearing is named Moja by Valerie Coleman. It's Swahili for Unity. The assistant conductor of the Buffalo Philharmonic Orchestra, Jamon Dunn, is honored to be part of the togetherness of the community. I am just happy that I am able to contribute something uh, because it just, you know, I actually happened to be out of town exactly when it happened, but I live not too far from there, so it still hit home. Uh, very strongly with me and I, I just wanted to be a part of anything that had to do with letting the people know that they are Buffalo. We are all Buffalo. Others hope that these performances will lift the spirit of those struggling to heal. It's because this is the city of good neighbors and when this I mean, just horrific terrorist attack happened, I mean it just, we need and, well, the state of the world is so tough, and so if there are ways that we can bring all of our community together to be able to heal and to move forward. Jennifer says music is a powerful tool in healing, and with these melodies, it brings unity. It's a shared experience. It doesn't matter. It's, it's one of those things that everyone, it, it moves you in different ways and it has different meanings for every person, but in the end, it's a shared and communal thing. And it's something that, you know, on your darkest days and on your brightest days, it can still bring you so many different feelings. The music doesn't stop here. Jamon Dunn plans to do a community outreach for the younger generations that look like him. I was a public school kid from Chicago that didn't know I could do this for a living. Nobody really was in my corner. Nobody looked like me. And I don't, I want to make sure that that doesn't happen to another kid or anyone in general. Jocelyn Person, 7 News.